All right, we're back with uh, with game two of this series. So again, sorry about that uh, giveaway thing, guys. But well, hopefully it's not just one person that gets all of them. But I might give away a couple more of these codes as the game progresses. So make sure you're watching Twitch chat. It's very important. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, I got draft well underway here because Enthos and I actually started this figuring, oh, the giveaway will take five seconds, and it didn't work. So, Legion Saga going to start out with Empath, Tempest, Prisoner, Magmus. Hellborn going to go with Kraken, Revenant, Drunken Master, and Blood Hunter. And I love the Legion lineup. I hate the Hellborn lineup because they pick Blood Hunter and Drunken Master. Yeah, too much single target stuff. Look at all them melee cores. That never fails. <laughs> Always good to have a lot of heroes. Blood Hunter never fails. Yeah, he's only one of the worst heroes in competitive scene. Mm -hmm. But Nullstone won a game with him, so god damn it, they... Uh, uh, I did not I did not lie. Yeah, so Twitch chat. Apparently somebody already used it. So somebody got 200 gold coins. Congrats to you. Um, that's not exactly the cleanest way to do it, but I apparently... Uh, well, TDK155 apparently got it, so congrats. Oh, hey, hey that, guy was, that guy was in my clan a while ago. Grats. Or no, you're on my friends list, never mind. Not bad, He's good insane. stuff. So, maybe when uh, possibly other gold coin codes get given out during the rest of this game, because this is cast 501, we're going to 1,000 Enthos. Are you ready? We're doing it all tonight. Oh, the next 499 cats tonight. This is what I was born for, my friend. Hell yeah. I'm ready. Um... Anyway, so, no, it, it, it only works for one person, so it's not going to work for everybody, so that's why it didn't work for everybody else. Um, anyway, maybe that person who did it before will be nice and won't take any of the subsequent gold coin codes if they happen to get given out during the rest of this cast. I can't say that's going to happen, but hey, who knows. Um, yeah, you have the shop, you got to redeem. This Legion lineup is perfect. Yeah, so let's actually if talk I might about the game. So it's perfect. It's fucking beautiful. Well, I'm Sorry. hard, so... <laughs> I am very aroused. <laughs> the cat agrees, by the way. The cat? Oh, that's your cat? Jesus, did you not... Did you hear it? Sometimes she's very vocal. I thought that, I thought that might have been your laugh, to be completely honest. <laughs> My laugh is like music, Anthos. Don't you know that? I know. Yes. And your cat's meow is like music as well, well so... Well, no, this is kind of the bitchy cat. <laughs> One's like, one is like blues, though, and one is like jazz. Right. So they're a little bit similar, but, you know. Let's get it on. Not bad. So, both sides finishing off their draft, which we barely even talked about, but uh, Hellborn now have a quad melee core, as they picked up the Legionnaire. Which is also not something I like. They're going real heavy, heavy on the physical damage on this Hellborn team. Except I have no idea what they're thinking with that draft. I don't like it. I have no clue. They're, they have, okay, so they have no legitimate stuns. They have lunge, they have taunt, and they have, okay, so they have the Kraken stun. That's it. That's not that's a legitimate a stun. They have the Drunken Master stun. That's it. Yeah, one single target stun. Yep. yep. That's no bueno, last time I checked. What? That's fine. It'll work out. No, when has a lack of stuns ever hurt a team in competitive? In, in any game of Han, much less competitive Han. I'm trying to trick these people, Quincy. Shh. I'm not, I, I, I'm not saying that, uh, that sarcastically. I'm legitimately saying. I'm not trying <laughs> to trick anybody. I'm not exactly on board with your plan. Normal. It's fine. Never pick stunning heroes. Those are not good heroes. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, the Hellborn team got massively outdrafted here. This is this is just shit. But here's the thing, though: the Hellborn team has two alt avatars with fire, so you never know. Okay, this prisoner alt, not the double damage one. I don't really, not a huge fan of it. And nope. I like the mag alt that they're using on the Legion team. Mhm. Mm like but do they have fire? Oh, they have Gaia Empath though. So yes, that's okay. A, so she's par she's partially fire, but is right. she full fire? She's not full fire. I'd suddenly give the favor to the Hellborn team due to I, alt avatars. I don't know. I haven't looked too much at the Hellborn's alt avatars. Balrog Bloodhunter's not 
huge fan, a huge fan of that. Revenant's okay. I'm not a huge fan of Tequila Master either. Kraken isn't even using an alt avatar, and Legionnaire's using the Executioner, which actually is a quite good one. But uh, I'm speaking strictly in fire terms. Yeah, but that's not the only terms to consider. I think Gaia Empath is the best avatar in the game currently. And Executioner Legionnaire is probably a close second, but uh, the Svarog Magnus is also really good, so I'm just saying. I think the Legion's got it on all time with hers, too. I got a counter with this, though. What about Polar Bear Panda? Polar Bear Panda's okay, but we don't see Polar Panda. Polar Bear Panda is the best avatar in the game. No. Oh, no. Clearly. No. Fat Fatnum 4 is also pretty great. Fatnum 4 uh, is pretty great, but it's, neither of them is the best avatar in the game. Phantom 4 reminds me of Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not agree? That's a good call. That's a pretty solid call. <laughs> if you put if you put fairy wings on Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, mm -hmm. yeah, I would look, like Phantom 4. Uh, exact. Yeah, Twitch shot. Twitch chat's got my back. DJ Rap City, number one alt in the game. Oh, get out of here. Number one. No. If you and your family can choose just one alt avatar this holiday season, make sure it's DJ Raps. Anyway, I'm the solid wall on the Revenant here. We'll see if they actually have the damage to finish him off. And they're going to trade auto attacks. Revenant's definitely dead. He's going to bloodlust. It is Zudonix on that empath. And actually, Souls to them. I get a second kill. And even hand, I think that sort of clipped him. Second one will hit as well. And he's going to get another one. So, Linko 6 on the Soul Stealer. What? Wow. Wow. Okay, let's uh, let's look at this for a second. Last game, Bezo played the Gemini. Now he's playing Tempest. Linko Six played the Empath. Now he's playing Soul Stealer. Uh, Soul of Volca played, I believe, the Swift Blade, and he is currently playing Magmus. Mandix, who played Magmus last game, no, that's that was on Legion side or the, the Izu side. Anyway, they brought in Zudonix, I think, who was on in the game last time, so. And those is named my co-caster. By the way, it's in the title. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. I was I was starting to wonder what that guy's name was. Oh, uh, by the way, there was a, there was a bloodlust kill. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. Nothing happened. It's fine. No. But the name of that co-caster—that's some interesting information right there. Yes. And I think uh, most importantly. That co caster's name C U S eight four zero R R N I six eight V one R X X C L two. What a co caster. <laughs> I have just put his name Agreed. into the chat. Mm -hmm. What a co caster. So Bloodhunter is destroying the top lane. Magmus is getting stomped. Yeah. And that's kind of surprising to me, actually. I think Bloodhunter would... I mean, he should be okay because of the Feast, but the Volcanic Eruption, like we saw last time, should be a little bit more effective than it currently is being, apparently. Right. And bottom lane, meanwhile, they're sort of going on each other again. Wall comes through, and Revenant's going to die here as the Essence Link is doing enough, and the pushback from the Drunken Master is not sufficient, so... There you go. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, I was... To be honest, I gave the favor of this lane to DM and Revenant. That's a pretty strong lane against, especially against mm. a hero like Solstice that has no defensive mechanisms whatsoever. One of the few. A solid empath wall can be a defensive uh, mechanism, and I think that the lack of sustained CC on the Hellborn team means that, sure, you can do some damage to Solstice, but you're not going to be able to kill him, because once the Dr Drunken Master stun goes through, it's like, then he's just going to walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DM's a really strong counter to Soul Stealer. Yeah. And I love uh, Empath, in, uh, especially in short lane. When, when, the other thing is, they've been keeping lane control. So they've done a very good job of that on Don't Care's side. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's made it very difficult for the Hellborn team to gank. And it's also made it much easier for the Legion team to get kills. So, well done to them. Looking at the jungling so far, Legionnaire is at about 250, Tempest close behind at 230 GPM, and mid lane Kraken clocking 250, while Prisoner is clocking just a little bit more 300. Tempted hook and a miss. Are you 
massively different from where I'm at or something? I see no help. Anyway, in the bottom lane, I see Drunken Master going to survive that. Now they're trying to turn this on. Meanwhile, top lane, they actually get the kill on the Magmas. And they look at the counter kill on the Empath from Drunken Master, but Soul is just like, all right, well, now you're back into this. I'll kill you too. Thanks. And that's not what they wanted as they end up trading Empath for Drunken Master. Mm, yeah, every hero on the Legion team right now is at above 240 GPM. 250, sorry. And that does include the Empath. So. In this type of situation where I think the Legion side did get a substantially better draft, what you're hoping for in the Hellborn team is to play better. Mm -hmm. That does not seem to be happening. Yeah. Middle lane, why is this prisoner beating the Kraken? Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, I Frankie like... Figs is the guy that we saw get Thunderclaw and Bubbles last game, so clearly he should be doing a lot better than this. Yeah, missing a CS right there, and you were talking about that before, actually, when he was playing that Bubbles, that he was missing CS, so maybe it's just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. He's not hitting CS. But here's the thing, he's cracking this game. Well... He has a hatchet, and he has splash. Well, uh, how hard And he's not getting harassed the lane. I'm trying to find reasons... For a thing that shouldn't happen to happen. Yeah. Anyway, Magmus looking for this Legionnaire, and he's gonna charge up the eruption. Oh, he didn't see it. He should have just. Anyway, he's gonna get countered now. This is a taunt. And is he gonna be able to get away from this? My suspicion is no, as the haste of Kraken is just like, yeah, you real dead, buddy. So, Soul Volca. Pretty bad timing. Mm. Otherwise, he had a nice kill on that Lego. I don't know, I, he could have. Just gone for the Hail Mary and surged into the eruption. Would have been uh, risky because of the taunt. Haunted. Yeah, but. He would not have gotten it. But it depends because Lego in the jungle doesn't necessarily get taunt. Anyway, they get the Tempest Hole after the dust, so I think some miscommunication right there because they definitely had to kill on Revenant with the Demon Hands if. Uh, they, even if they hadn't used that Tempest Hole, so maybe they didn't realize Empath had dust or what, but. Unnecessary Tempest Hole. Not that big a deal if it's really on. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly though, the score is just about tied. Almost no tangible golden experience difference at this point. Right. And a huge part of that, I think, actually, is the fact that Magnus is 210 GPM and the Bloodhunter mm -hmm. is 350, which is not something that should have happened. In right. In my opinion. I mean, Bloodhunter and Magnus both very strong laners, but. So. Anyway, they will get the hook onto Magnus as well as the Shackle, so no more charge for him. But he's gonna counter with the least crack, and he will have a TP as well. Gonna get the stun on both of them, and he's not gonna be able to get away as they have just enough damage. Balrog Bloodhunter coming in here has the ultimate onto Prisoner. He's gonna try to take a health pot, and a nice stun from Magnus. Can they turn this? In the meantime, bottom lane, they get a pick up Drunken Master, and they get a counter on a Linko 6 on that Soul so it ends up being a one for one in the bottom lane as both farmers go down. But a nice response in this mid to Bloodhunter's aggression. Good cooperation in the middle lane. Uh, Is there a sting still? And getting that health pot off. Hmm. You know, Legionnaire went for Ghost Marchers before anything else. Before Hell 2, before Helm of the Black Legion. Uh, yeah. I have not seen that in a long time. Since the 1500s. I hate it. <laughs> I, I do too. I mean, just I like. Mean, it, it makes no sense. He doesn't have auto attack. Like, at this point, his damage is not coming from auto attacks. That, that does right. for him. Anyway, they got the shackle, but they missed the hook from Kraken, so he's gonna be able to get out of there, no problem. Magma's running through the Legion Woods here. Really feeling like he can't lane top, which I don't think is the case. I really don't understand why he's completely abandoned the top lane. I feel like if he gets a ward up to stop Legionnaire from being able to gank him, he can lane top just fine as I'm missing stuff in the middle lane. Mandix on the Revenant is dying. By the way, what are your thoughts on the new hero? Calamity? Mm -hmm. Kinda broken. Yeah, for a mid hero, that hero's insane. When people know how to use those dragons. Yeah, those dragons do so much damage. Oh, oh my yep. god. It's ridiculous. You need control. And the fact that she can be as far away as she can while using them. Anyway, middle lane cracking me in a lot of trouble. Lava Search goes through, so the shackle through as well. He has his ultimate, but really no sense in using it, even if he could have, but he wasn't because he was stunned the entire time. There's an ultimate. Again, probably not necessary, but not a huge deal that he used it. Yep, so as opposed to two minutes ago, Don't Care is now ahead by 23 gold 2k experience. 
Legion. Man, actually gets spotted out a little bit as the wall sort of hit him. He's coming back in here anyway, but a three-man lava surge from the uh, Solar Volca. Magmus, very well done. Empath can jump wow. inside of that Magmus, trying to get away, and the speed boost does help. So, nice jump. They get the kill on Sickening. I think it's that the end. No, nope. Prisoner looking for a hook. Hastrian on Magmus as well. Has to be careful about that hemorrhage actually does go through onto him and he could be in trouble, but he's got the steam bath off, so he's going to be okay if he just sits in that for a while. Drunken Master going to push Prisoner back into this thing, and they're going to look for some go Auto attacks, not bad. Revenant end up taking the death. Hastrian on Magmus, still trying to run away. Blood obviously sees him, but uh, a little bit too much speed there the from Mag. That didn't end up being a great trade, but the advantage was it took four here or five heroes from the Hellborn team. Meanwhile, Linko six on the soul in the bottom lane, solo pushing the gold tower. So as opposed to 45 seconds ago, they now have a 4k gold lead, <laughs> as opposed to 300. That's a 1700 gold bonus in 40 seconds. You know what? You no. know what, El Santos? Mm -hmm. It's been... Uh, this game's been going for 10 minutes now, and I think that deserves some sort of uh, recognition, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. I'm just saying that we should, uh, should say like, oh look, the game's going with 10 minutes. Let's do something to commemorate that event. Uh, what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still weighing off. my options. Okay. Well, we could go to a strip club. We could have an office party, or we could have a Halloween party. I really hate it when I'm sitting in the middle lane and a kill happens top. So like an idiot, I go to the top lane and then a kill happens in the middle lane. Mm-hmm. Yep, um, Guys, you didn't mess much. You need to give me your scripts before you play matches. Quincy, this is a reality show. We don't have scripts, okay? Of course not. We don't play in the matches at all. We haven't, uh, <laughs> predetermined the entire season's results. Sync isn't gonna lose cycle 8. No. What? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll never be able to prove it. Now, Revenant doesn't have an ult at all. That is true. And this hero actually could have a level 2 ultimate in one level. If you wanted to. Which, but he doesn't which, want. You, which you'd think would be good. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, most heroes, if they could have a level 2 ultimate level 8, would probably take that. Um, my question is, how do you pronounce Gray's name? R. Bielefeld. Bielefeld? Is it Bielefeld or Bielefeld? Who cares? Um, oh, yeah. This. And Legionnaire has decided, apparently, that he wants to jump into four heroes. Tempest Hole onto a bunch that's not going to be stopped tracking, looking for the ultimate banana section. He's on cooldown for 10 more seconds. Prisoner ultimate will be pulling back people back in as Lego dies, they're up getting charged in the back row line. Magmus, nice initiation, and a hook to drag one more into that eruption, and then it getting the genocide on the Legion side, so very well played for the first Mag combination. And, that was beautiful, yeah. that was beautiful teamwork. Oh man. They are feeding, I, I don't think they're feeding so much as uh, the Legion have a far superior draft, and they're not dumb enough to not know how to execute it. Because this is this is a really good draft. <laughs> a lot yeah. of heroes that work well together, and especially on these in these big engagements, they have a lot of power. I don't know. That play has me very aroused. Yeah. Not serious. Yeah, you are. It's okay. You can admit oh, it to the okay. people. You know what, you're right, I am. There's no judgment here. <laughs> Legionnaire still has no items. What is he doing? Dude, he's got Ghost March. What are you talking about? Uh, They're GG look Marchers. At, Everything's fine. Look at him get wrecked by this hard camp. Almost. Uh, look, is the hard camp dead? No, well, okay, yes, now it is. Is he dead? He's about a one third HP. Okay, is he dead? Are you dead? No. Is he, I'm, I'm, it's a simple question on those. Is Legionnaire dead? No, but are you so dead? So who got wrecked? Was it him or uh, was it the hard camp? Um, I'd say exactly. the hell Legion. Exactly. The hell Legion got wrecked. He, nope. It was that Catman. Vulture Lord's like, I'm going to kill stuff. 
Quincy, I just want to be good at math like you. Please be nice to me. Nobody can be good at math like me. Anyway, that legionnaire that you were talking about... Well, he might actually be getting wrecked here. <laughs> they just like, screw this. <laughs> I don't want to chase you. I'm gonna hit R and get a kill. <laughs> Easy enough. Prisoner 7 and 1. 424 GPM. Yeah. Soul Stealer is 4 and 1 at 508 GPM. I'm more impressed that Empath's 4, 2, and 9 with 260 GPM. 500 GPM Soul Stealers do not impress me. I've seen a lot better than that. 260 GPM Empath is it's pretty solid. But here's the thing they might be doing well, but Blood Hunter now has a Thunder Claw. Dude, how are they going to deal with that? By the way, I love the fact that they have one targeted stun and uh, Soul Stealer doesn't null stun, which can be cancelled right there by the turret, but he gets portal key. <laughs> He's just like, bye guys. That was good. He bought a portal key too. That was very well played. He walked over yeah. to the side shop, bought a portal key, and began. <laughs> well played indeed. You mad, bro? Yeah. Anyway, yes. speaking of other heroes that have portal keys, Magnus is like, guess what? Bitches, I'm in here, soul burst right in the face, and uh, Dark Master doesn't take all that much damage from it, but it's plenty to get the kill. Yes. Revenant gets TP away. Officer is not there. And uh, it is too bad because Izu put up a pretty solid fight in game one. They've had mm -hmm. weird drafts both of these games, but they sort of made it work in the first game. Yeah, it's a little bit beyond weird this game. I mean, yeah, there's nothing to bring that team together. It just doesn't flow at all. I, I mean, like, if you got a mag or a, a Lego, if Lego had good farm and got a portal key and you could jump on people, especially with a Revenant invis and then drop a Kraken ultimate and stuff like that, that'd be good. But that doesn't fit with the Blood Hunter. Like, the Hellborn. Mm -hmm. He wants to chase people. He doesn't want them trapped in a Kraken ultimate because then the hemorrhage is nothing. <laughs> Right. Backdrag, Shackle, and the ultimate goes on. Two man lava surge goes through as well, but only the crack will be pulled in by that. He doesn't get anything off though, as his ultimate never available to be casted. So I'll pour the key on three heroes now on the Legion side. The Legion have overrun a Hellborn FOB. This could be it. And, yeah. We will see. So, I'm gonna put some base on the side. Oh. Legion are about a portal key. No helm, no help for regen whatsoever. I, well, he's I, now I... got the stats from the portal key at least. <laughs> so there's that. That'll yeah. help. I, I must say, Izzy's item building skills are beyond Look, anything. If they try to run away, it's not gonna work. Anyway, Eruption getting charged up the same time as Chunk is coming in with the ultimates and Soul Burst really not doing anything. Background Drunken Master trying to get chased down by Linko 6, but here's Blood Hunter in the middle of this whole thing. And Hook's gonna pull Kraken right back in. He charges into the building though. He should become more auto attacks, but he's dead. Long so he's just off, actually. Drunken Master eventually getting away, but that's the CC. <laughs> this was a poorly drafted lineup and a poorly executed game, and this is what happens when you do that. Yeah, need we say more? The Hellborn Barracks are liquidated. The Hellborn Barracks are liquidated. I think one. They're gonna lose mid racks, and apparently not feeling like they need to concede quite yet. I don't know what possible strategy they could come up with that would result in them becoming victorious in this game, short of bribery and or cheating. Well, Lego with a fat taunt, and they're gonna get one kill, but there goes sickening, and now Drunken Master's in on Lego 6. He's gonna realize pretty quickly that's a bad plan. Revenant now gonna get jumped off as the dust for inflation. Make sure they can see him. Lego 6 actually gonna have the some stuff eaten. Null stone, they're gonna turn to Blood Hunter, and now Crack coming back in with the Drunken Master. They're trying to kill the Soul Stealer, but they're not gonna get it. As he's just running on by Bezo, in fact, on the top of the one to fall. As there goes Crack, and now we can see Annihilation on Soul Stealer. No, we're not. I was about to go, yes, we are, but I couldn't. As Bezo is apparently from beyond the grave stealing Annihilations. What a bad man, asshole. Mm hmm. On a Tempest, nonetheless. Believable. Yeah, I gotta say, for a guy who played support just last game and did well at that role, this guy's doing exceptional for playing Souls 2. Link 06 solid player. Yeah, 660 GPM, that's no joke. Especially 19 minutes into a game, I mean, my god. Well, 
I wouldn't consider this game completely representative of somebody's skill with uh, with the hero. No, He's I, definitely having a good time, but but you rarely see anybody above sure. you know, 500 GPM in 19 minutes. And yes, it's certainly a stomp, but. Sure. Impressive, uh, nonetheless. It's, he's, he's definitely having a pretty great time, and uh, he's played this quite well also. He's like, look team, you guys did well in your lanes, so you have a bunch of really good heroes. I'm good at farming, so I'm going to sit here bottom, get my GPM up, get my millstone, get my portal key, and then I'll be ready to fight. Not trying to force stuff too early, knows the timing of his hero, and uh, it's been very helpful to a valiant yep. effort the game warriors. and eventual victory that will go through right there. So, Legends game two the and the series going the way of don't care. Move on to the round of eight, and is you gonna be knocked down to the losers bracket? But since all of the losers bracket crap was forfeited, that means they won't be in danger of going to silver. They will instead move right on to the losers bracket round two. So not gonna be dropped out of gold at this point. Oh, sorry, no, they will be dropped out of gold because they they for they were one of they were the only team in the losers bracket one round one to forfeit. So I lied. Izu going to silver. That's what's happening. Just checked, made sure. Anyway, and those final thoughts, series, game, life? Um, series, uh, Izu got outdrafted by Don't Care both games, and their team play just seemed to fall apart. It was pretty good at first, in that first game, they were looking solid for about the first 15 minutes, but after that, communication went out the window. Um, apart from that, let's start casting more. I fucking love you, and I love... All you viewers. Oh, I've got all sorts of time, man. You just gotta be here. I'm looking for casters. It's, it's on you, buddy. Unfortunately, I, I wish I had all sorts of time, but these days wow. I'm pretty busy. It's what you actually being a productive member of society will get you. You know me, dog. Right? I just try to be a member of society. That's what I'm all about. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, congrats to Don't Care. They're gonna move on to the round of eight, and I don't remember who they'll be facing. You can look it up if you don't look it up. It's fine. It's, don't worry about it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I got halfway through that and I realized actually no because that's when you play a massive spoiler so that'll do it for this game and this series